I'm prepared today, though, to say that he has to account for his involvement with uh, shady characters, with uh, drugs and drug abuse, and that he has to account for the uh, falsehoods and the lies that he has perpetrated on on the citizens of uh, and residents of the city of Toronto. That much he needs to do over the next little while. Today, frankly, is a sad day. I think we're all disappointed. This is yet another day when Toronto's uh, eye is blackened in the face of, uh, frankly, this will go international. That's, Should he that's step sad. aside until he clears his name? I'm not prepared to say that today. I think he needs to come out and, and uh, start to talk to uh, talk to Torontonians and come clean. That's what he needs to do. So, but I mean, if he, if he came clean and admitted to all these things, appear to be. Uh, I would wait until after that. I think today, frankly, no. most no. Torontonians no. are in shock. Do you feel betrayed by Mayor Ford right now? I, I I am terribly disappointed in her. That's my that's my uh, my dominant emotion. Um, there was, a lot has come out today, it, and it's not just the one video, there's other pictures, there's other events, there's lots of stuff here, and um, uh, I, I think his responsibility now as the Chief Magistrate is to come clean, tell Torontonians who he is, what he's been about, and start to, to speak in an honest way with, uh, with his residents, especially his supporters who believed in him and believed the story that the that the video did not exist. But can he really still be mayor right now while this is all going on? Probably not. I don't know. I don't think that uh, you know. Right now, I think most of us are simply absorbing the disappointment and the shock of the depth and breadth of the information that is coming out. You're shocked. Uh, absolutely shocked. Uh, uh, we've been shocked, frankly, for a few months, but um, the depth and breadth of the, the pictures, the, the clearly he has misled Torontonians. Um, we are, I think, Torontonians today are shocked and they're disappointed that the chief magistrate has uh, clearly a, an addictions issue of one form or another. Uh, he associates with people that uh, he shouldn't be associating uh, with. And in the end, he, is, he has led Torontonians on a misadventure of falsehoods and misdirections, saying that the crack video didn't exist, that uh, he's on the up and up. Uh, he needs to today face up to that. I hope what he's doing in his office right now is looking himself in the mirror and say, I need to come clean with Torontonians. What's next for City Hall? Is it safe to describe the situation as chaotic right now? Well, it is chaotic, certainly at the mayoralty level. However, Torontonians also need to know that in these buildings behind us and in Scarborough and in Etobicoke and North York and in the streets of Toronto, there are great city hall workers who are keeping the streets clean, who are keeping the libraries open, who are basically keeping the fabric of Toronto life uh, alive and well. That mustn't be forgotten in this. Yes, we have a major problem. <laughs> At the, at the mayoralty level. But that doesn't mean that tomorrow we don't have a great city and that we don't have a city that we need to be, and we are proud of. Joe, does, does the mayor need to apologize? Oh, he needs to account. He needs to, the, the, he's been caught basically telling Torontonians falsehoods. He's been caught lying. And I would think that in that kind of situation, he should be looking himself in the mirror and saying, do I come clean? Am I going to perpetuate the song and dance that he's been leading Torontonians on in the last uh, six months? Are you angry about this? Well, I, I'm angry that we have lost so much focus as a city, that we're not talking about urgent housing needs. We're not talking about developing a rec program that we can be proud of, developing a vigorous public transit program and that day after day, the only story that seems to matter is the media encampment in front of the mayor's office and the ongoings on in there. That is a major distraction, and it's really setting the city back. There are big issues we need to tackle, let's tackle them. And sure. so, and really, I lay that at the mayor's feet. If Should he had that come, now? I, I think that's, to me, that's not the question. I'm still, today, I'm, I think myself, as well as 
most Torontonians are trying to absorb all of this, trying to look at the pic, they're looking at the pictures and saying, holy smokes, this is beyond the beyond. And since May, he's been deceiving us. Mm -hmm. Surely, surely, Joe, surely this is the end. I mean, he can't, how can he come back and face his colleagues and face the public? That very well may be the case. I think, I think with all trauma, I think Toronto, Toronto is experiencing trauma today. And the trauma is, is a, a chief magistrate that has uh, has obviously been associating with some awful characters that he's been involved with uh, with illicit drugs in very very inappropriate ways. He's done all kinds of other things for which there are there are now uh, photos. Um, uh, that takes some absorbing <laughs> before you say, okay, well now what do we do? Um, and really, before commenting on any of that, I think the mayor has to come out and. Uh, Reckon and speak in an honest, direct way with Torontonians about what this is all about. Thank you, Joe. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Councillor.